And now with all four sides glued up, I'm ready to cut the pipe to length. The internal length for this pipe needs to be 15 and 3 eighths. So I've measured from the top of the block out and made a mark at 15 and 3 eighths. And I'll make that cut on the arm saw. Now I'll use a flush trimming router bit to trim the top and bottom edges flush with the sides. sand down the edges a little bit just to take some of the machining marks off. And now I'll mark the pipe. I'll need to mark the it's a Preston G pipe, so I'll put a P for Preston and a G to indicate the note. Now I'll, I'll, I've intentionally made the end of the pipe too long in this direction and I'll cut everything off at once to make sure everything's even. So to get that location I'll go ahead and install the cap in place. And at this point, at this point, we should have a pipe that makes a note. So, yay, it works. So now all the pieces on the bottom are all cut off to the same length. I have a nice square flat bottom for the pipe. Now the pipe's ready to have the tuning slot cut into it. I have my router set up here and a stop and I'll, I'll make the slot through multiple passes. I have uh, some spacer blocks so that I can set it up and each pass will be in a slightly different location and I'll end up with a nice slot. Slot. I'll use some sandpaper just to take off the sharp edges. Now I'm ready to glue on the rails and the tuning slide, and then the pipe will be just about finished. 
Now with the slot cut, I'm ready to glue on uh, the rails and the tuning slide. And I already have these parts prepared. Uh, and when I clamp these down, it might bow the pipe a little bit. So I put a clamp on here just to help hold the sides together. And I'll start by gluing one side on. Then to set the position of the other side, I have a little 10,000 shim that I'll put in there, put the tuning slide in place, and then set this rail up flush against that. And then once I pull this shim out, that'll leave me with a nice 10 thousandths gap that will allow this slide to move. So that set the position of the top. Now we'll set the position of the bottom side. Put the same shim in there. And then I'll go ahead and add one clamp in the middle that'll clamp the top and the bottom. Or clamp both sides, I should say, at the same time. Take the shim and the slide out, and let that dry. Well, the construction of the pipe is complete now. All that's left to do is to polyurethane the pipe. I'll start with by polyurethane, polyurethaneing the top half. I'll let that dry, and then come back and do the bottom half. I'll also polyurethane the tuning slide plate and the cap. thing the bottom of the pipe. have it, one pipe. Do that 249 more times and you'll have an organ.